In my video on the four outcomes, we saw that the only way to bypass those four is by direct experience. What I thought I'd like to do is in this video and in other videos in the future is have some experiments into direct experience and see what is it that we actually experience. I think that often we have beliefs about what experience is, but when we really examine them, we see that those beliefs don't match up with our actual experience. So in this one, I want to look at the question, where do thoughts occur? Now, I think that many people or most people think thoughts occur in their head. And we have this in our language. If someone is stuck in their head or I have some music and I can't get it out of my head. But is that actually the case? Is everything in our head? So what we're going to do is we're going to look at different perceptions, smell, taste, touch, sight, and sound, and see, and repeat those by thought, and see where do they occur. And one thing that's interesting before we even begin is to notice that your thoughts can only be from perceptions that you have. So what I mean is you can have a, a sound thought because you have hearing. You can have a sight thought because you have sight. You have a taste thought because you have taste. If I made up or had a, another perception uh, or sense, like tradulation, I can explain it to you. And what you're going to do is you're going to try to use the senses that you have to get some thought. But until you actually experience it, you would never be able to have a thought about it. So for this experiment, for this experiment, I want you to do this with me. So we're going to need some equipment, but not too much. You're going to need something to smell. Now, I, I have cologne on my wrist, but just something light. Something to taste. I have coffee. And then something to touch. I have a piece of Lego. Now, for sight and sound, we'll do it by video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the, the sense or have that perception happen. And then right away, I want you to repeat it as a thought. And then just notice, where does it feel? Where's the location of that thought? Okay. Now, if this is something that's really interesting to you and would like to explore more, I recommend you get the book, The Direct Path by Greg Good, in that he breaks down everything in our experience. It looks at sight, looks at sound, looks at thoughts. So if you really want to do this as, as furthest you can go, I recommend that book. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with smell. So for smell and taste, what you're going to do is you're going to do the smell, do the taste, and then hold your breath so that you can cut that sensation off. Okay. And then notice, where's the, where's the thought? Okay, so I'm going to start with smell. Okay, so smell it. Hold the breath and then repeat the smell as a thought. Okay. Now, first, the smell was, was here, of course. Now, the thought was also here. Okay. Let's do taste. Again, taste it, hold your breath, repeat the taste as a thought. Coffee. Now, even you can breathe, taste that again, and then hold your breath. So now, where was taste? Taste was here, of course. Where was the taste thought? It was here. Okay, well, it's still in the head, right? Let's do touch. For this one, I want you to touch something, hold something in front of you, put your arms down, and then repeat that touch thought. Okay? So, Lego. 
repeat as a thought. Okay. And you could repeat this as many times as you like. So where was touch? Well, touch was here, of course, my hands. But when I put my hands down and I repeated the thought, the touch thought, where was it? Again, it was here. Not in my head, outside of me. Okay. Let's continue. Let's go with sight. For this one, if you, have a, if you can see a chair or someplace to sit, it's great. Um, now, I have a sofa here. What I want you to do is imagine someone is sitting on the sofa and really see it. And really visualize as, as best you can. Okay. Now, where is that thought? The person's not there. So where's the thought? Is it, is it here? Definitely doesn't seem so. The thought seems it's over there. The thought is on the couch, on the sofa. Now, you can, you can try this many different times. You can try it with different things in different places. See something that's not there and say, where is it? Where's that thought? Well, it's going to be where you see it, outside of you. And for the last one, let's look at sound. And again, I'm going to make a sound and stop it. Now, for this, it's best if you're not using headphones, because if you're using headphones, the sound is here. And so you want to get away from that. You want to have it, if you can, put it away from you where the speaker is away from you. And so let's do the same thing. We'll do a, I'll do a sound, stop it, and then repeat that sound thought. Let's do it again. Okay. Now, where was sound? First, where was the sound the first time? It was from the speakers. Now, where was the thought sound? From the speakers. Same place. And not here. It was here. And you'll notice, you don't experience sight thoughts in your head or here, You're out there. You don't, you don't experience sound thoughts. It's here. You experience wherever they are. Okay, so what does this say? Well, we can see that thoughts don't, in our experience, don't happen here. They happen wherever experience happens. If, you know, if I have an experience here, well, then that's where it is. If I have an experience out here, that's where it is. That's where the thought is. Well, there's two ways that you can look at it, and they're basically the same thing. You can see that myself extends out from the body. So my visual thoughts can be anywhere in, well, anywhere in reality. My sound thoughts can be anywhere. I could even extend my touch thoughts farther out. I could imagine my hand stretching out far in front of me over there. And that's where I'm going to experience. That's where I'm going to have that thought will be over there. And you could, you could mess with this and even try, which I haven't, but you could try even try to move taste into different places or smell into different places. Okay, so you see that you extend outward. Oh, maybe you say, well, no, no, I'm going to say that all of that is here. Okay, so then all of reality is in you. What's the difference? You want to say you are reality or reality is you. It's the same thing. All right, so please try this. Try this many times and don't go by your beliefs. Go by what the actual experience is. Where do the thoughts occur? And you'll see. They happen exactly where they should be. Except they happen where they are, which is not here. It's where they occur. Okay, well, so that's it for today's experiment. Until next time.